My name is Adara Peña and I'm an 8th grader and I am running for president. So some of you may recognize me and others I am a new face. Last year I was our school's vice president and I've decided to run for president because you know vice president knows like what exactly like what the president does and does like similar things to it. And since I've decided that I'm going to be running for president because you know next year I'm going to be off in high school. And this year I really want to make it count because I know it's like it's really different through quarantine and online learning. And hopefully if we go back to school we can have our fun ASB events like right now. I don't want to say much but like we want we have like some ideas but like we can't really I can't really discuss it right now or else I'm going to get in trouble. And but don't worry. Hope we really want to make this really fun because of quarantine and online learning. But if you're an 8th grader, you were a 7th grader last year and we had like this fun ASB activity which was which was the haunted house and the pep rally and we were going to have field day and another pep rally but sadly because of corona um we couldn't do it and if you're a seventh grader right now this year um i'm so sorry that you had to start your first year in middle school through like through online learning because i know it's not the same as as of like when you're with the teacher and like you're learning with your friends you know at the same time and I'm really sorry about that and I don't want to take up too I don't want to take up too much of your time now so I'm just going to be really quick right now. And I just want to say if you vote for me, I really want to make sure that like we have like the best school year ever and I have like a bunch of ideas that we could do and I and it's going to be a surprise, you know. But hopefully you can vote for me and I just want to say thank you for your time. Good morning or good afternoon to our fellow students teachers and staff. My name is Regina Rodriguez. I stand here before you today as a running candidate for president. I assure you that I will make your voices be heard, be hardworking, and listen to your ideas and bring my light to our school. I know that I can be a strong president for our Enrique Calmanero Junior High School because I know how to manage my time for sports, for ASB, for my homework, and for our just regular school. I believe I will make a strong and powerful impact, positive impact for our school. I know that I will be a strong president for our school. I will be proud to present as a president for a Nikita Junior High School because of all its accomplishments. I will try my best to come up with creative and fun activities with my team, especially um, body positivity activities. I, with that being said, I believe I will make a strong, positive impact for our school with this fiber pride. Thank you. Hello, Enrique Cabrera, junior high students, teachers, and staff. My name is Alberto Castro. I am in seventh grade, and I would like to be the vice president for Enrique Cabrera Junior High. The reason why I believe I would be a good vice president is that I have had some experience with leading and working as a team. Another reason why I believe I would be a good vice president is that I feel like I understand the qualities of a leader and the qualities of being a good team member because I have been in plenty of teams, not only in school, but I've also been in plenty of teams in sports. I was also an ASB in elementary, and I understand that ASB in junior high is more serious, but it is still like in some ways. So I have some experience with ASB and experience with doing events, helping out in school, or whatever that pops up. I will always be more than glad to help. I am also a big sports fan. I play basketball, so if you like sports, I will make sure to do a lot of sports events where we can all have fun. The reason why I'm running for vice president is that I want everyone in the school to feel safe and I want everyone to have fun learning while we all learn and grow in these difficult times like the ones we are experiencing now. I understand that online school is new for everyone and it is a lot different and it will be difficult to adjust but I want to make sure everyone is having fun and I want to make sure that everyone feels safe while adjusting to online school. So if you want to have a fun year, make sure to vote for Alberto Castro. Hi, my name is Cristal Luz Lopez. I am in 8th grade and I love singing and skating. I'm running for vice president of ECJH this year. I decided to run for vice president because I want to make a fun, appealing environment in these hard times. Me being a student, I understand that online school may be difficult and it's become very hard to adapt to. But I know that together we can get through this and even make it interesting once and for all. I would make one of my priorities as vice president to help students engage more in online school. So this school year, I will make more online school events for um, students to engage more.
tournaments, Kahoot games, and even gym kits. I know many things have happened this year and we are all in difficult place right now, but this experience can also be seen as an opportunity because no other generation has ever experienced a school year like this, which means we can come up with new ideas and can make this fun. Uh, I hope that 2020 becomes unforgettable for not the bad things, but for the amazing school year. These are some of the reasons I think you should vote for me. Hello, my name is Sharon Rodriguez. I'm in seventh grade and I'm running for vice president. I'm running for this position because I want to make our school better than it already is. Here are some reasons why you should vote for me. I am responsible. I have been vice president in ASB before. I follow the seven habits. I love participating in public events and I'm really creative. Three things I would like to do at our school are, one, I would like to have more fun activities to do. For example, one day we could play Basta and Loteria. Those are one of my favorite games to play. We could play those. Two, we could have more fun events. For example, when you attend online school for a whole month, you could get prizes. Three, we could have more charity events and also have more clubs. For example, book clubs and other options you guys have. Some fun facts about me are that I play basketball, I play volleyball, and sometimes even play soccer. I love, love animals. I even have a dog called Goki. Yeah, she's, dogs are one of my favorite pets. I'm organized and I promise I will try to do everything I can to make the school better. No one's perfect, but I'll try my best. Once you vote for me as vice president, I'll try my best and we'll make the school greater together. Thanks for listening to my speech. Um, we'll see you later, Firebirds. And remember, Sharon Rodriguez is running for vice president. When you see that on the ballot, vote for Sharon Rodriguez. That's it, guys. See you later once you vote for me as vice president. Bye. Hi, my name is Oscar Vertran. I am in 8th grade and I am running for secretary. I am running for secretary because I would like to help my class leader to make the school a better place for everyone. If I become secretary, I will ensure to all goodies and meetings run smoothly. In my background education for secretary, I have two friends that were secretaries, such as in high school and in middle school. So I asked them questions about what it's like to be secretary and the best way to manage the role of secretary is. I promise I'm gonna do the task to the best of my abilities and cap capacity. Well, my goals are for secretary is to help my leader to the best I can do. I will try to make the school a better place for everybody. And I will also try my best to get as many as events as possible to perform for the planning to go well. And that's all. Good afternoon, Firebirds. My name is Yusina Dera. I'm in eighth grade, and the position I'm running for is treasurer. In case you don't know, the position of treasurer has the responsibility of making sure that our school doesn't lose or waste unintentional money. For example, they make sure that all game sales and student student hurts are correct and in the right place. I believe I can be responsible and mature about the money we use for students, staff, faculty, and school. Skills that I can bring to leadership as treasurer is teamwork, experience, respect, responsibility, honesty, commitment, patience, and empathy. I believe that the most important out of all of them is teamwork. I believe teamwork is a very significant trait because as leaders and as a school, we need to be able to understand, work together, listen, and envision each other's ideas, problems, and solutions. An idea I would bring to ASB is to have a newscast where we can announce the bulletin, important dates, spirit weeks, and other big events. Another idea I would bring to ASB is to have a suggestion box so that students and staff can suggest events or ways to make the school better in a positive manner. For these reasons, I believe that would be a great treasure for ECJHS. So please don't forget to vote Susan Herrera for treasure. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mariana Marquez. I'm in seventh grade and I am running for treasure. I'm an organized, responsible, honest, and independent person. I believe that obtaining this position will give me a challenge and help me become a better leader. I would make a good treasure because I am good with money, math, and working with others. I have some experience with being a leader since I have been part of ASB for three years. I have always tried my best to help out in school activities. I'm not afraid to try new things 
and I am always willing to hear other people's ideas. I like hosting fun events to get other students' minds off schoolwork. Thank you for listening and vote Mariana Marquez for treasure. Have a great day. Hey guys, my name is Just Maria Las and I'll be writing question. And you may think or guess, what does a history do or does? So what a history do or does is keep track of all the events, activities, for example, dances, um, pep rallies, activities, you name it, on a book. Something else is keep track on all the events and take pictures on all the events we have and activities and pep rallies, you name it. And one of my goals for this year, if I went for history, is that I want to make more plan, more dances, activities, pep rallies, events, you name it. But right now, we're like in this pandemic called COVID-19, named as coronavirus, we cannot do not, not not that much activities on school grounds. We have to do them virtually. And I and my team are gonna do this all possible that we can. And if I don't win, I will still be planning those events with the AS team. And I feel that I am going to win. My gut tells me, my heart tells me, my family tells me, even my friends and someone important to me tells me that I am going to win. And other thing is, make sure to work for me as a historian. Thank you, bye. Hi, my name is Barbara Valenzuela. I'm in seventh grade and I'm running for historian this year. Three reasons why I want to be a historian is your reason number one is because I'm really good at organizing, I like helping others, and I'm really responsible. Reason number two is because I really want to be a part of something important just like this position. And because I would also make great decisions just like just like making more clubs if we go back to school. My final reason is that I'm a great leader and would like to make virtual school better than it is. Vote for Barbara Valenzuela for historian. Thank you. Hello, as some of you might know, my name is Emma Galvan and I am running for the position of publicity director. What a publicity director does is announce events that school or clubs may have planned. They try to motivate others and keep the school spirit running. It also requires being very positive, optimistic, confident, having a lot of school spirit, and not being afraid of speaking in public. I think I'll make a good candidate because I have these qualities and I have experience using them. I hope I get your vote. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.